Welcome everyone, here is how you downgrade the iOS or iPadOS version in your iPhone. You can see I'm on 16.2, by the end I'll be on an older software. So you will need a computer, either Windows or Mac to do this. Do note that you can only downgrade to maybe one or two older iOS versions. So I'll move to my computer and let's get the downgrade started. On the computer for Windows users only, you can head over to the iTunes website, which will be in the description. You're going to scroll down. You see where it says looking for other versions. Click on Windows, then click on download iTunes for Windows Now 64 bit. Download this, set it up on your computer, then restart. Then for Windows and Mac, you're going to head over to the uh, IPSW downloads. I'll have that link in the description as well. You are then going to select your model. So I have iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro, and you can see under the sign IPSWs, we have three iOS versions available. In the future, this may be two iOS versions or only one iOS version. So keep that in mind. There is also this other website here, which I will leave in the description, which on some iPhone models may have more iOS versions available. So right now, the same iOS versions are available, um, but in the future, this website may have even more. So I'll have both links to check. So in my case, I'm on iOS 16.2, and I'm gonna downgrade to the older iOS 16.1.2. So I will click on the firmware file, and I'll click on download, and then the firmware file will download. Once the firmware file has downloaded, you're going to open up either the Finder app or iTunes, and you just want to connect your device to the computer. Now, once the device is connected, you should be able to see it here. It may ask for you to trust the connection. If it does, you will need to click on a trust prompt uh, on the iPhone home screen, enter in the passcode, then this screen should show up. So we don't want to lose our data. So where it says check for update, on Windows, you're gonna hold down shift. Okay, we're holding down shift. You're gonna left click, check for update. On Mac, we're going to hold down option. And we're holding down the option key. We're gonna left click, check for update. You should see this menu here. And if you don't, your iTunes or Finder has glitched. I've had that issue in the past. So you just need to restart the computer, then attempt this again. We are then going to select the older iOS firmware, 16.1.2. We're going to click on open, and it's going to say update, but we are doing a downgrade. So now the downgrade procedure will start. You can now see the device has been downgraded successfully to the older iOS 16.1.2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to the device now. So you can now see my iPhone is on the iOS version 16.1.2, the exact same model. Camera's a little bit blurry because I'm using an iPad to record this. And uh, with that being said, thanks for watching. If you want to help support the channel, just check the description. There's many ways to do so. Bye-bye.